<laughs> All right, guys, what's going on? Jackson here for Children of the Loam. Today, we're going to be showing you how to change a tire the right way because I see so many people do it wrong. My friends, people I work with at a bike shop. So we're going to settle this once and for all and make this easy for you guys so you're not struggling and breaking top levers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so these you should not need other than taking the tire off when we put it on. I'll show you guys the best way to do it so you're not even going to need levers. Save you a lot of time and frustration. Soapy water, isopropyl, something like that, just to help the beads seat a little bit easier and kind of slide over the rim. And then a bike pump, unless you got some type of special lungs on you that I've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so to start off, assuming there's a little bit of air still left in your tube, you're gonna have to let that out. So we'll go ahead and do that. Pretty straightforward. And kind of lean on it the more air you get out the better and it actually helps to close the valve because sometimes it reinflates a bit and then we'll start opposite of the valve just break the bead loose this one's actually kind of already coming off we didn't see it all the way before sometimes they're tricky the best way if it's tough get your thumbs in there like that and just push towards the center Let's see Kind of like that. Yeah. All right, so now you got that off the bead on both sides all the way around. You can grab a lever. Start around the valve, typically. Try not to pinch the tube if it isn't flat, which I don't know why you'd be doing this if it wasn't, but it's just good to know. Break that free. This one's a little sticky. And run it around. is a bit stubborn. And once you got it broken, you can just use your fingers and go around. Come up here. Take that off, which I forgot to do earlier. Where it went, I don't know. Yank your tube out, set that aside. And pull the tire off. Simple as E. All right, so if your tube went flat, it's worth checking what caused it to go flat so you don't put a new tube in and instantly puncture it again, which happens more often than not. So what you can do is just pump up your tube. This one isn't flat, so it's not even worth showing you guys, but just inflate it to the point where it starts leaking. You'll be able to hear it. Find where the hole is, compare it to the rim and tire, just based on where the valve is, and then look in the tire in the relative area that it had a flat and you'll probably find a thorn or something like that. Sometimes it's a pinch flat, so you won't get anything like that, but you'll be able to see if there's something in the tire and obviously take that out before you put a new tube in. So now that we got our new tube, put a little air in it, just about as much as this one has in it already, just to give it some form, makes it a lot easier. Now to reinstall, make sure you got your tire in the right direction. Can't tell you how many times I've done this wrong. Danny's bike is uh... What's the right direction, Jackson? To get the tire on the right way, most of them will be marked. You can see that arrow right there. Rotor's on the left. And since we're doing this the right way, you gotta line up your logos. You get that center axe right there, right over the valve. That way, you don't need to be looking for your valve. You just look at the logo and you know Plus, it's there. if your logo's over the valve, your decals on your tire is going to line up with the rim decal. It looks faster. If it looks faster, it is faster. <laughs> Alright, so now we've got one side of the tire seated all the way around. Alright, one side's in. So then you take it, and it helps to sit down when you're changing tires, I've found. It's really the easiest way to do it. You're not struggling and fumbling all over the place. So, take your tube, find the valve hole, Go ahead and insert that in there. And just go around, tuck your tube in. Make sure it's not twisted or rolled up or anything. You can see that nice and uniform the whole way around. So now you can take, this isn't necessary, but it helps 
whatever you got, a little soapy water or something, and just run it around the bead. All right, so then take your thumbs and kind of pull up over the rim and pull the tube back, keep it from pinching, get that bead in there, just kind of work it around, up towards the valve. Start to get tight there, so then you come back here, where you started, pinch and push this tire down into the center of the rim channel, keep tension on it, and just run your fingers around and you'll see it starts to loosen off and you just keep doing that until it goes. No tire lever is needed. Part, what made that look so easy? Because that takes me 20 minutes. What yeah, made so that look so easy? It's just taking that tension or creating tension on the tire to just pull it in to that center rim channel and you're essentially pulling the slack up to where you need it. Yeah, because the tire is a tight fit around the rim. Definitely. So you need every single little bit. Yep, anything helps. And if it doesn't work the first time like you saw, you just keep working it, and it will eventually go. So now we're good there. Like I started to say, just go around, check that your tube is not protruding out from underneath the tire. Because if it's like that and you go to inflate it, you'll flat immediately again, and nobody wants that to happen. So now that we're good all the way around, just go ahead. Connect your air device. Glory work. And give her a pump. Bar spin. Yeah. Step it. <laughs> Here. Okay. All right. So when you're doing this, you can come in close here, and you see how this this line here is not consistent all the way around. How the tire tucks in there. You really want to make sure that it's even all the way around because that indicates that your bead so, is seated. The line needs to be equidistant from the rim all the way around. You'll see it snap into place as you pump up more. Whew. Wow. Damn. That was right. more than expected. So now you can see we got that line even all the way around. Now your tire's not gonna be wobbling when it's rolling. It'll feel a lot smoother, go a lot faster. And stay on, and hopefully not flat again. But uh, you usually have to go higher than the recommended pressure to get that to snap in, or not most of the time, but some of the time. So just make sure you don't go too high and blow the tire off the rim. It's worth noting. And uh, yeah, now we'll just let some air out back to where we want it. It's pretty solid. Take your little nut. Thread it back on the valve and get your cap wherever it is. Mine's imaginary. It's on there now. You're done. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully that helped you. Hopefully you won't be breaking levers and cursing, changing tires going, going forward. Uh, if this video helped out, we'd appreciate it a lot. If you'd like, comment and probably subscribe too. Oh, that one fires me. If you me. have any questions, the comment section is down there. Keep it real, guys. <laughs>